What's up you guys and welcome to another Brides Action Figure Reviews. Today we've got a brand new G.I. Joe Classified Series Maggot Review. <laughs> I said I'd try that, it probably didn't work. But anyway guys, the reason I did that is today's review is of course the G.I. Joe Classified Series Sergeant Slaughter. Of course we've had one of these already, well two of these already last year from the good guys over at Valiverse. But Hasbro have got the license now as well. So we've got a brand new G.I. Joe from Hasbro to take a look at. And I have picked him up from the guys over at Big Bang Comics. And very excited to get the guy in the line. Of course, for me, Sergeant Slaughter first came to my 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 brain in from WWF. Back in the day when he was impersonating an Irani an Iraqi sympathizer fighting Hulk Hogan. Who knew now that Hulk Hogan would indeed be the bad guy, not the guy for, pretending to be from Iraq. But anyway, on to the review and let's check out the box for Sergeant Slaughter. Of course, plastic packaging gone now, unfortunately, but let's check it out regardless. So let's check out the box for the G.I. Joe classified series Sergeant Slaughter. As you can see, windowless packaging. Uh, yeah, but we do have a lot of cool artwork on the front of the box as you can see they show the render of the figure here They have like comic panels and everything. This is from the cartoon actually This is from the comic and this I presume is from like a video game or real life or something I don't know and here you have of course Someone holding a figure holding a figure and of course the main thing here, which is really really nice on the side You've got all these things Again, just give us the damn file cards, G.I. Joe. Uh, number 53 in the line. On the back, instead, they've actually shown the figure instead of the usual, like, tropical thing or showing off a big poster. But they do show off all the accessories in the box, including, like, mini Sergeant Slaughter, which is really cool. And the height and everything, 6.75, 1.7, 1 1.3 millimeters. And the figure here holding his gun. So he does come with a lot of different hands. Something that I'm hoping will uh, be the thing going forward in the G.I. Joe line because they do just tend to come with weapon ho gun holding hands and nothing else. So hopefully this will be the start of something good. On the side here, you've got the Surge checking out some jets launching off in the background. On the bottom, legal stuff. On the top, again, number 53 in the G.I. Joe logo. So guys, let's get the Sarge out of the box. So here is the G.I. Joe classified Sergeant Slaughter out of the box. And I have to say, I look, I am really, really happy with this guy. He looks awesome. Now, is he as good as the Valiverse one? That's a question I'm going to try and answer in this review. But also, like, he just looks really good. He would fit in in your wrestling collection. He would fit in your G.I. Joe classified collection. And of course, he will fit in your Valiverse collection as well. And if you just wanted to, like, a drill sergeant, he would probably fit in in your Marvel Legends collection too. So yeah, like there is a lot of accessories to go through. None of which I have shown you here because I'm going to show you what they arrived in. So without further ado, let's get the Sarge down off the swing of a jig and take a proper look at this figure and what it comes with. So guys, here is Sergeant Slaughter. Now what I wanted to show you was this is this blue box thing here in front is a cool little locker. That has like a code on it and it says Sergeant Slaughter. This is what his accessories came with, and I just wanted to show you it in the review. I thought it was really, really nice and something that you don't usually see. A uh, really, really creative way to store his accessories once you're done with them, if you don't, if you want to use it. Now, of course, there is some that I have already taken out. There is this gun, we've seen it before. A clip will go in the bottom here. We've seen this gun in the line before. It's really, really nice though, I have to say. There's that, there is his whistle that he uses to whip the Joes into shape and burn, bu well, burn the ear off someone. And there is this like cane thing as well, which is really, really nice. I love the gold and paint on the top and little hanger type thing at the bottom. It's really nice little piece. Now let's look at these as well. He's a signature hat. I'm gonna pop off here. And doesn't he look lovely? So there is his signature sunglasses, which always look cool to me. And his hat, which fits him absolutely perfectly. So what I haven't looked at in this, I might have to open these things. 
So this just pops open. And there is like a nice little like G.I. Joe Cobra bag. There's more rubbish in there as well. So what I haven't opened yet, I haven't seen the rest of these. I just poured them out here. So they're, these are basically like a load of different hands and things. So you've got the point in hand here. Like so. You've got two like gun holding hands. For your um, your weapon that I showed you there a minute ago. And the other point in hand. I wonder what kind of person has two pointed hands. And uh, here's two like grabbing hands. For grabbing those damn cobras. And there's the, the extras for the gun. The kind of scope thing we've seen before. And a clip as well that I was missing. So let's stick those on. Your full gun now. With the sight thing on the side and the clip in it. And the coolest accessory that I haven't shown yet. Is Sergeant Slaughter gets his own action figure to play with how cool is that uh this is probably the coolest accessory i've ever come across in any figure it does says real american hero on the back on the front there and how cool would it have been if there was a little mini file card there missed opportunity i will say but uh yeah that is absolutely awesome class so the figure itself sarge really looks different without his hat and his glasses doesn't he so the figure itself let's look at the articulation it is quite stiff for some reason, but it does go up and down. He does get a good look up. He does get a good look down. There's full rotation. You do get some side to side. You do have a butterfly joint, an arm swivel, tie, or tie swivel, bicep swivel, I mean. You do get a double jointed elbow. You do get articulation at the wrist. It goes up and down also. You get standard ab articulation. It goes a lot. And waist swivel, tie swivel. Double jointed knees, they're quite tight, but they do go all the way up. You get boot swivel and ankle rockers. And you do have the, the drop down hips as well, which I'm not a huge fan of. Now, there is a lot of people saying this figure is too big. Let's look at him with next to the, the Valiverse Sergeant Slaughter. So here is the Valiverse Sergeant Slaughter. As you can see, there is a bit of a size, size difference, all right. So yeah, like this is, um. This is Serge in his pre-steroid days. But uh, yeah, it's quite different, all right. It kind of, like, for me, I like both of them. If I had to choose, I would probably go with the Hasbro one. It's all down to personal preference, in my opinion. There is no bad or worse one of these. They're both good figures. It just depends on which one you like more. And for me, like, there's better, the, the vest and stuff is better on this guy. But there's, yeah, there's, it's, it's hard to compare. So let's look at another Joe around the same size as him. And I think that's the same body as well. Uh, yeah, so like, I don't know, I'm a fan of this slaughter. I've always been a fan of this more classic look as well, especially with the hat and glasses on. And I think he's really good. Am I happy with the price I paid for him? No. <laughs> but I did pay similar for the Valiverse one, so. You can't complain too much really, the Valiverse ones would be great if they were to, they were easier to get here, but unfortunately they're not. So you end up paying import charges and all that kind of stuff. But as this figure here goes, I'm very happy with it, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. There's a lot of cool accessories and stuff, and uh, he really does fit the bill. And just for like an outside one, if there's those of you who are thinking of pairing this guy with your WWE figures, because he is a WWE wrestler as well. Here he is with a WWE Randy Orton. Now, it's not that far off thinking like Mattel is a seven inch scale. They're not too far off. So it might work, but he is a little small for the WWE scale. But I just said I'd show you that one as well. So yeah, guys, 8.5 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed the review and I hope you will subscribe, like, comment, do all that stuff. Tell me what your favorite one is. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. See you later. Goodbye, maggots. Bye.